Silent Hill 3 is rated M by the SRB. Viewer discretion is advised. So, there's going to be things like that throughout the, um, the journey. Uh, more because, like, you know, fetch quest type thing. And those depend on uh, diff um, riddle difficulty also. If I did on easy, you wouldn't have to go through that. That's why I didn't really want to do easy, because it's not the full experience, I think. So, yeah. Oh, found a door. It's not locked. Yeah, it looks to be a storeroom. Yeah, I got some more jerky. And I got more handgun bullets. Actually, how many handgun bullets do we have, actually? We have 90. Uh, including the 10, so we got 100. Still, those would run out pretty damn fast if we actually started shooting, like, like aimlessly around. So best to save them for uh, a situation. Uh, more doors that are blocked or broken. More doors that are broken. More doors that are broken. More doors that are broken. And the end of the world. <laughs> or end a end of the world. This is basically like the end of the world in like uh, Silent Hill 1, except this one you can fall off. All right. As you can see, I'm like just kind of like in a brisk jog basically because of the um, bulletproof vest. All right. Now, when I go in here, there's going to be a closer, and it's going to be right almost right on top of me, so I'm going to get out of the way. And it doesn't doesn't help that the room is almost pitch black, even with the flashlight. So, just kind of... Do your thing. Let's go, yeah. Oh. Alright. So as you can see, pipe a little bit better for closers, a little bit better. But I have to say, like this room, it just you turn it off and it's like literally pitch black. You, you can't see anything. And even with the light, the angles makes it like you can't actually see around. So that's horrible. Anyway, we're gonna go in here. This is a hallway with some split heads and pendulums which I'm both going to ignore. <laughs> so I'm just going to run. Ignore the split heads. There's a pendulum. Or there's two of them, which I'm just going to ignore and go in here. Pendulums in this one, like in this, uh, this in the mall part, not worth fighting whatsoever so we're not going to oh this place looks lovely it's like a shower or something you're not saying anything about that heather nothing nothing about the blood thing that okay you 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 do your you do girl there's some kind of vice here huh, okay well even though we probably could squish the walnut with, you know, our hands or maybe our boot. Apparently we need to uh, crush it with a, with a vice instead. No, not in the walnut shell, just a jewel. We've got a moonstone. Where have we seen a moon, moon symbol before? Hey, it's that crescent moon uh, door up on the third floor. Oh, that's not creepy at all. With some cages, too? Ugh. And over here? It's like tor it's like a torture room, basically. Holy cow. Anyway, we've got a save point here. 
This pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood. <laughs> I bet it's some sort of curse symbol. I wonder if my head hurts and I feel awful when I look at it. This probably was drawn out of drawn with blood. Anyway, we got a sports shop. Actually, seeing that this is a sports shop and there's torture equipment around here, I wonder if that could be a symbol of symbolism of something. There's like body bags over there. Oh my god. Alright, so here. We are going to go from I'm going to go from here over to that locked door over on the left. And that's where I'm going to go. I'm just going to like dart over there. I'm probably going to have to deal with a split head on the way. And I'm just doing that because I'm just going to go. Yep, there's a split head. Not dealing with it. Later, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to line lock the door. And now we're out here, which there's um, numb bodies and pendulums also around the area. And I'm not going to deal with either. Nope, nope, nope. Hell no. Not at this point in the game. Oh. Hey, got some numb bodies, which I can easily kick. You're not supposed to do that. You can also do a stabbing motion with the pipe. I totally forgot about that. If you press forward and hold the button, you can do a kind of like stabbing motion. Only if we had like a spear in this, that'd be like awesome. But unfortunately, no such luck. We have to deal with the pipe. Just take him out. Take him out, Heather. Bam. Oh, come on. Die already. Again, you can't go through a body unless it's dead, so. Oh, where am I? I'm here. Okay, so. Now we've got uh, two ways, obviously, to go. We have one through the jewelry shop. Or the one through the other one with the numb bodies. If you want to fight, you go through the one with the numb bodies we fought before because they're they're respawned, or you go through the jewelry shop down there and fight nothing basically. So I'm gonna actually go down here and fight the numb bodies because I'm crazy. <laughs> and plus, I just wanna rack up my uh, my kill count a little bit. Hey. That's not nice to hit me. Die. And there's another one. If the camera would... Oh, you're way over there. Okay. Bam. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, here we are. That... Oh my god. Car just went by and I like... Scared the hell out of me. Okay. I'm a little on edge. Just a little bit. Like I said, this was the first Silent Hill game and... I remember playing it, I have to say, and I played it... On my couch. Um, with my feet up, basically. Because I did not want to have my feet on the floor exposed at all. Alright, so let's use the uh, Moonstone. Oh, what the hell was that? I don't remember that. Splithead, are you there? I, I, I don't remember that sound. That that was very very freaky. Oh my god, what the hell was that? A anyway, let's um let's use the moonstone on the door. No, that seriously like scared the hell out of me because when you play this without earphones on, you don't really pick up like the little noises and. Let's just say I don't remember hearing the noises. And there's a lot of stuff I'm hearing for like the first time and it's freaking the hell out of me. Okay, so we're on the third floor. 
uh, in that, like, I guess, atrium area. And nothing is open, obviously. I hear something, but I don't believe that they're actually on this floor. Which is kind of, they're like below the door. If you can, you can kind of maybe see them walking around down there, and that's on the second floor. Technically, pendulums would be down there also, but I guess they just would be kind of broken. Anyway, we come out here and go near the edge, but don't go off the edge because you could fall down, and that would really be a bad thing. And I think we're going to need something a little more than the pipe. Just saying. Let's go. Yeah, if we go down, you can probably see the numb bodies. I'm not liking these sounds. I do not like this sound. I've practiced this game three times and it has not freaked me out one little, well, maybe the first time, but second time and the third time, no. And now it's freaking the hell out of me again. Congratulations, Silent Hill 3. You're freaking the hell out of me once again. Well, that sucks. Okay, so welcome. This is the first boss, Splitworm. And he's not really that difficult. He'll just come out of one of these six areas. And the thing is, you can actually use your target aim to actually kind of see where he's going to be coming out of. And that's about it. You just shoot him. Ouch. He'll shake, he'll shake the ground, knock you off footing a little bit. You do not want to get near him, because he will bite you and possibly eat you, so that is not a good thing. Oh, here he is. He's right in front of me. Don't want to reload. There. He also has the ability to go through side to side, so just be prepared to move. I don't say the boss, not that difficult. He's done. Oh, the light. So yeah, we're back in the shopping mall. Like, nothing happened. Uh, let's, let's equip the pipe. We're good so for now. Um, seeing that there's going to be no monsters around, we're going to unequip the, the vest. Just make sure you re-equip it going into a hostile area again. Just saying. So if we go actually around, we can't go to any other places. The natural shop. 
Natural what? Natural horse? Oh, the Royal Grill, that sounds like an awesome place to go. We got the Key of Beauty, probably Beauty Salon. I can't really say what see what that is, even with my light on it. Anyway. Yeah. Fountain. We're back. We're back in the uh the real mall. So let's just go under this grate and get the hell out of here and let's go home. Now we can actually go down here, but there's not really any reason to go down here. Here's the phone booth I think we called dad from. And the ladies room that we ducked into to get away from the detective. And that's where we got our light. But it doesn't look like we can go anywhere here. So let's just turn around and go back. Of course we can't, we do have the mall still there. And seeing that we, this is the real mall, uh, we've already gone through some of it, so it kind of shows that, yeah, we actually have been in this area also before. One place we can go is the Happy Burger. And that's where we uh, woke up from our dream right at this table this is where i was sleeping earlier hell if i still might be sleeping here you know, for all i know i wish i were and if we go back here we get some beef jerky and some handgun bullets here another first aid kit and a save point. And Heather has apparently run out of things to say about save points, so that is fantastic. Okay, so this ends the first area of, or the mall portion of Silent Hill. I'm going to kind of break this up in areas I guess like I'm going to obviously break it up in parts but I'm going to basically give a like a, 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 fin a like a final sign off after every area has been completed so yeah uh, we're going to be continuing on to the next area right through those doors so let's do it <laughs>